Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Panmai from Manipur, India, staying in Italy. Today I would like to share with you my experience here in Italy in this time of coronavirus COVID-19. People are dying by hundreds every day. Thousands of people get infected every day. And there are cases of people committing suicide because of depression, having lost their loved ones and their family members. Well, let me tell you, this is my sharing and not a news reporting, okay? Well, let me tell you something about the coronavirus in Italy. Italy is a country famous for its medical edu um, facilities for people. Every citizen, every person get free medical attention from the state. But no, we can't control over the virus. It had its own way. People are dying by hundreds. Thousands are getting infected every day. Official news still today have said that there are more than 83,000 people infected. More than 14,000 dead cases. And then the good news is more than 19,000 people are cured or had overcome the virus. But life in general, it's very difficult. The worst infected areas of Italy are Lombardy and in the north of Italy, in Turin and those areas in Italy. Schools, offices, workplaces, churches, sports centers, everything is closed. But I'll tell you something that the government, the Italians are doing that we need to learn, I think. You can see that road is called Via Tuscolana. It goes straight to Rome. It was constructed in the uh, Middle Age. It used to be the busiest road in the city, but now no one passes. Everyone remains in their own rooms or in their own house. Coming out for a walk has become a crime. And the precautions that the people are taking, the state is taking, is really great. Well, from my experience, I can tell you, Italy is a very nice place to live. People are warm and welcoming. They accept you as one of them once you begin to speak with them. And we have beautiful places to see and nice place, beautiful weather. Now I'm on the roof and you can see there Rome. I'm 30 minutes away from Rome. Even cities like Rome, it's all empty. Stations, the famous tourist spots, everything is empty. The roads there you can see, no vehicle passes, each one in your own house. Even though we can't come out from our rooms, from our houses, they keep doing the things that we need to do using the, the online facilities, for example, Google Classrooms, Hangouts, meet and zoom us to have using them to have classes conferences reunions and to guide and follow up the youngsters even though they are at home and some of the good things that we see are the government have some volunteers some providential facilities to go delivering food for the people who can come out from the house especially to the elderly we see people really dedicated to the preventive measures that is prescribed by the state. Staying in their own rooms, making, maintaining a distance from the people, even from the loved ones. And we have received help from other countries like Russia, China, Cuba, and Italy is getting on better. Yeah, situation. Thanks everyone for your prayers. Keep continuing praying for us and hope each one of you and every one of you stay strong and safe with the virus, helping yourself and